So today we are joined by two of our uh, senior girls soccer team members. Girls, go ahead and introduce yourself. Um, I'm Sosa. I play midfield. I've been on the team for four years. Uh, I'm Emily. I play center mid and I've been on the team for four years too. All right. Thanks again. Once again, thanks again for uh, coming on today and, and kind of giving us a chance to spotlight our girls soccer program and kind of get to know two of our senior athletes a little better. Uh, so we'll jump into our first question here. Uh, Annabelle, I'll ask you first. Um, so what I want to know is how long have you guys been playing soccer and then what kind of got you into it? Um, so I actually started off playing baseball and softball since kindergarten. Um, I was playing that until I was like 13, but um, that was in the spring season. So I wanted something to do in the fall winter time. And my brother had just joined the soccer team at the pavilion. So my mom was like, why don't you just join that? So I joined it and I fell in love with it. And my freshman year of high school, I made the switch to go from softball to soccer. So I've been playing since I was about 12, 13. Very cool. How about you, Emily? Um, I've been playing since like seventh grade, I think. And my mom said I should try it. So I was like playing with my friends, like not a serious team. And then I started playing like on a Mexican league, I guess. And then I just started playing like for the rest of the time being because I really liked it. Very good. Okay, cool. Now you've had four year career here as a Spartan athlete. Um, I'm sure you've got some great mem memories along the way. So uh, Emily, let me ask you first. So do you have a favorite memory from being a Spartan athlete? Um, I think my favorite memories were not really from the games. Like the games were fun, but they were mostly from the practices because um, I would really like going to practices with Fernanda. Fernanda would always make me laugh during practices and everyone would just like have a good time during practices. Like practices were like the best time for me, yeah, but I don't have a specific one. I just know that practices were really fun. For sure. For sure. How about yeah. you, Randabar? Um, I mean, the practices are a lot of fun, but I think for me it was sophomore year. Um, the JV team had won, we won the consolation bracket. So it was like, kind of bittersweet but um it was nice because in the final we played tf united and um the first game we played them was in like the regular season and we had lost so it was nice to come back 2-1 last minute penalty it was it was really dramatic it was really fun very cool very cool so um when you're not playing soccer or hanging out at those fun practices what uh what keeps you busy what are what are your hobbies and your interests sosa um, honestly, just schoolwork. Um, I have a couple AP classes. I have a couple honors classes. So it's not that the pot, it's not that the work piles on, but it's just a lot of work that you have to get through. So, um, yeah, I'm usually just catching up on schoolwork. Very good. How about you, Emily? Um, so I've been slacking on schoolwork a little bit, but I'm still trying really hard. So I just been like drawing, and, like painting shoes and like painting stuff and like watching shows and that's it. That's what I do. Got it, got it. So um, you know, obviously remote learning is a ton of fun, I'm sure. You know, sitting in your couch and, and getting your work done as opposed to a plastic desk. But I'm sure there's those classes that we miss, maybe those teachers that you miss. So uh, do you have a favorite class or a favorite teacher, and, and why is that? So Emily will ask you first. Um, so my favorite classes to go to were my art classes. I had two this semester. I had clay in the morning, and I had um, spring studio in the afternoon. And it was Miss Clark, and I missed Miss Clark because she was a good teacher. She still is a good teacher, and she was really chill with me and Tati. So yeah. Very cool. How about you, Annabelle? Um, I've always liked math, so I've always felt really like good and confident in my math classes. Um, and right now, Ms. Sampson teaching AP Calc, she does a really good job connecting to her students, making sure we understand the material, and making sure that we all know that she's there to help us through it all. So she's been really, really helpful this, this year. Uh, Ms. Clark, Ms. Sampson, pretty good shout-outs there. Um, so whether it's 
school or whether it's soccer or just in life in general, could you identify kind of who would be your kind of your biggest influence or your biggest motivator in your life? So, uh, Annabelle, how about you first? Honestly, I think the biggest influences for me are my peers, um, my teammates, my classmates, my friends. Um, I want to be the best person that I can be. So having them kind of push me and help me realize what's best about me, it helps me become the best person I can be. Very good. How about you, Emily? Um, I think mine is my mom because she's the one that taught me to like work hard for what you want and all that. So it keeps me going and like keeps me wanting to get better at everything, you know? Very good. Family, friends, can't go wrong there. Um, so we've been away from our teammates and, and coaches and everybody for, for too long now, I'll say. Um, so do you have a message, either your teammates or your coaches, that, that you'd like to share? So how about you, Emily? Um, I think I would just tell you guys to not go outside still. Like, just stay inside, find stuff to do, and... Hopefully we'll go back to school and everything will be okay again and to just stay positive. And if you get bored and stuff, like just watch some YouTube videos. Cause that's what I do. Especially this one. Got to watch this one. Yes. Uh, yes. This one yes. first. Watch this YouTube video. Healthy and safe for sure. How about you, Annabelle? Um, yeah, pretty much the same thing. Just lim try and practice social distancing as best as you can. So this whole thing blows over and we can hopefully start school up again as soon as possible. Um, and yeah, just stay positive. Can't go wrong with positivity. That's right. So, um, as seniors on the team for your girls uh, with the program, you know, um, you know, Annabelle, you mentioned the big moment for you was, uh, part, being part of that JV team that one year. Um, you know, what message as leaders for your team, you know, do you have any advice, um, not just getting through this tough time now, but just in general, you know, do you have any advice for, for the younger athletes on the team, maybe for that JV squad. Um, so, so what about you? I would say enjoy it as best as you can. You know, especially your freshman and sophomore year, you don't have as many responsibilities and outside factors as juniors and seniors do, what with going to college or trying to work out more serious things going into your adult life. So for sure, try to enjoy the moment as best as you can. How about you, Emily? Um, I really recommend trying to play soccer in college because it will help with paying, hopefully. And you should not stop playing soccer because it will keep you exercised. And it's really fun. So you should do it during college. You should try out for college because that's what I'm going to do. Want to go to Marine? Very good, which kind of leads me. Perfect segue, Emily, to my next question. So what, what are your plans uh, after high school graduation here. Emily, you mentioned Moraine. Yeah, I'm going to go to Moraine for two years and then try to figure out what I'm going to like get into, like study. And then I'm going to go to a different college for another two years. Um, and I'm also going to try out for the Moraine soccer team too. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do because I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to study. There you go. Get, get, uh, get Moraine those two years and you got time to figure that out for sure. How about you, Annabelle? Um, so, like, Saturday or Sunday, I actually, um, I fully accepted my admins to NIU in DeKalb, so I'm going to NIU for four years, um, for engineering. Um, I haven't really worked out the soccer part of it, or the athletic aspect of it, but, um, I think if I were to do anything, I'd do more of a, uh, club type thing, uh, recreational, what's it called? Intramural? Intramural. Um, so it's not too competitive as D1, but mm -hmm. it's still something to keep me active and stay with the sport. For sure. You want to, you have so many good times here. You want to, you want to make sure you maintain that link and that, uh, competitive edge for sure. So, um, so once again, uh, thank you guys for sharing some of your time today to, to sit down and talk. Um, you know, I, I hope we're able to see you guys maybe sooner than, than later for sure. Um, and I know I, can speak for Coach Farrow here when I say thank you for all the time, all the effort you guys have put into the program uh, over the last four years, bringing it to what it is today. And um, and good luck, good luck, and uh, you at Moraine next year, and, and best of luck to you in, in everything. 
Thanks. You too. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Have a good one. You too. Thanks everybody for tuning in and and watching another spotlight this week. Um, you know, stay tuned on all of our social media platforms at OLCHS Athletics. Uh, we are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on YouTube. So make sure to follow us on each one of those platforms for the latest updates and more of these spotlights. So we'll be back next week with another team, another few uh, senior athletes. We're looking forward to it. So until then, stay safe, stay positive, and go Spartans.